A major mass mandate change. A judge has thrown out the federal mandate on public transportation, so things like planes, trains, and buses. While the White House reviews the decision, at least five major airlines are now telling passengers masks are optional, including Washington-based Alaska Airlines, although you may still need one depending on exactly where you are going, including Canada. Good evening. I'm Jessica Janner Castro. I'm Greg Copeland. There's mixed reaction to this change and the quick shift caused some confusion at SeaTac today. Kingfest Kelly Greenberg is live at the airport with the reaction from travelers who learned about the change just as they were about to catch their flights. Kelly. In fact, I broke the news to them, just asking them their feelings on it. They had no idea. Now it's been a few hours. So if we take a look at the airport tonight, uh, not busy, but what you'll notice is a lot of people still wearing masks. There are a select few who are not, but as I mentioned, a lot of people are just learning this news. But at least for now, we did mention the White House is reviewing this decision. At least for now, people get to choose whether or not they want to mask up. Catching a flight, you're probably prepared for changes, but travelers today weren't expecting this. What are your thoughts about to catch a flight knowing people might not be required to wear a mask? I need them to have a mask on. That is great news. I'm proud to be an American. One of the last major mandates of the pandemic, a transportation mask requirement overturned by a federal judge in Florida. For now, TSA says it will no longer enforce mask use. Congratulations. <laughs> Those landing at their destination and leaving the airport, some of the first to hear the news. They announced it just now, like as we landed. So we're like, oh, all right. SeaTac Airport and numerous airlines, including Seattle's Alaska Airline, announcing masking is now optional. In a statement, Alaska said, above all, we hope that you'll treat each other with kindness and respect throughout the travel journey and beyond. I had no idea. I mean, I'm getting ready to get on the airplane. I'm flying based on the premise that they're going to have masks on. The quick change dividing people at the airport, making some travelers uncomfortable. It makes me feel a bit nervous, actually, I think, just because I think that there might be people who tested positive on the flight, and I think that wouldn't be best for Everybody all the people else. involved. Others say they're ready to ditch the mask. It's awesome. I feel I love it because uh, we're all been boosted. You know, we're in the military. But even without a federal mandate, no one expects this change to travel too far. You're now rocking the chin strap. Well, I'm just doing that for now because I'm sure we're going to put it on the Uber. So. <laughs> and I spoke to a few Alaska Airlines flight attendants off camera. They've been enforcing this for about 24 months now, and they told me they're pretty excited about this change. Uh, some of those people that caught flights today, I asked them to text me what did their flight looked like. Uh, one flight to Hawaii, they texted me saying it looked about 80, 90 percent of people were still wearing a face mask. Live at SeaTac tonight, Callie Greenberg, King 5 News.